1839, the Frenchman Louis Daguerre published a method for obtaining a photographic image. Thanks to this invention, we can see what the last sailing and first steam battleships looked like. HMS St. Vincent was a 120-gun first-rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy. St. Vincent was commissioned in 1829. In 1854, during the Crimean War, was used to transport French troops to the Baltic. From 1862 to 1906 served as a training ship. HMS Howe was a 120-gun first-rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy. Typical capital ship of the period of the Napoleonic Wars. Such ships were the main force of the fleets of the great maritime powers of Europe. HMS Britannia was a 120-gun first-rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy. She saw service in the Mediterranean. During the Crimean War, serving as flagship of Admiral Dundas. She was engaged in the bombardment of Sebastopol. After the war, she served as hospital ship, cadet training ship and barracks for cadets until 1869. Valmy, was the largest three-decker of the French Navy, and the largest tall ship ever built in Europe. The ship had difficulty sailing, and maneuvering badly. Valmy was too big for wooden shipbuilding technology. However, he could show how many people were on board the sailing battleship. During the Crimean War, there were 1,200 sailors on board the Valmy. Another 1,750 infantry could be taken on board for transport. From 1864 to 1891, the obsolete sailing ship was used by the Naval Academy. In 1848, the world's first purpose-built steam screw battleship Napoleon was laid down in France. Following the type of the Napoleon was built new ships. The Imperial was one of them. Imperial took part in the Second Italian War of Independence in 1859, and the Second French Intervention in Mexico in 1863. From 1870 to 1897 it was used as a barrack. France and Great Britain tried to get as many steam battleships as possible. For this, the old sailing battleships were rebuilt into steam ones. HMS Mars was an 80-gun second-rate ship of the line of the Royal Navy, which fitted with screw propulsion in 1855. HMS Duke of Wellington was a 130-gun first-rate screw ship of the line of the Royal Navy. She was originally ordered in 1841 as tall ship. But then ship was cut apart in two places on the stocks, lengthened and given screw propulsion. When completed was, the most powerful, and the largest warship yet built for the Royal Navy. Duke of Wellington served as his flagship throughout the Crimean War Baltic campaign of 1854, being present at the bombardment of Sveeborg. The Britannia was the largest and most armed a fast 130-gun screw ship of the line of the French Navy. Britannia was late for the Crimean War, but for the next five years it personified the sea power of the Second Empire. In 1858, in the Cherbourg, the French demonstrated to the British delegation an impressive squadron of steam battleships led by the Britannia. In 1853 old first-rate sailing ship of the line Royal George was fitted with screw propulsion. In 1856 it was used as troop transport to the Crimea. Refitted as a 89-gun second-rate screw ship of the line in 1860. She was sold out of the service in 1875.